Okay, I've got no X's just on the left hand side, so I need to got seven X's plus eighteen. So I need to get rid of the eighteen first. So take away eighteen from both sides, and that'll leave me that seven X's is fifty six. I don't want seven X's, I just want one X, so I have to divide both sides by seven, and that'll give me that X oh that'll give me that X equals eight. This one here. I could divide both sides by five by four to start off with, but I'm actually going to multiply out the brackets. Four lots of two y's will be eight y's, four lots of minus five will be minus twenty, and that equals thirty-two. What I need to do, I need to get rid of the minus twenty, so I'm going to have to add twenty to both sides, and that will vaporize the minus twenty bit, and that will just leave me with eight y's equals forty fifty-two, and therefore I will need to divide both sides by 8. So I don't want 8 of them, I just want one of them, and that will give me that y equals 6.5. Got a bracket. I can't divide by 3 because 5 doesn't divide by 3 nicely, so I'm going to have to multiply out the brackets. So the left hand side will remain 5p's plus 7, and that will be 3 4's will be 12 minus 3p's. Which one's got most p's? Well, this one's got five, and this one's got negative, so the most will collect them all on the left-hand side. So I need to get rid of these minus three p's, so I'm going to have to add three p's to both sides. And I'd always do the, the, the unknowns first. That gives me eight p's plus seven equals twelve. Now at this stage, I'm going to have to get rid of my minus, but my plus seven, so I have to take away seven from both sides, and so I get eight p's equals five, so p equals, so I have to divide both sides by 8. And so p equals 5 eighths, and that's done.